ask any rally driver in Canada what event poses the greatest challenge, and they will point to Bancroft, Ontario and the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. This is often where championships are won and lost, where endurance is everything and luck is in short supply. Uh, the love of Talpine for sure, it's one of my favorite. I love the roads. Uh, it will be very interesting this year. The highs are as big as the jumps and the lows are equally harsh. With the championship locked up, two dozen of the best teams in the country are here for one reason, a Tall Pines win. Welcome to Bancroft, Ontario and the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. Crazy Leo Orlicic is ready to lead the teams onto the stages with a new co-driver. So, we are here with my new co-driver for fun for this weekend. Tatiana and I dated 19 years ago in high school, then we didn't stay in touch for 15 years. Now we're back together and we wanted to go for a Saturday drive. Well, guess what? We decided to start first at a national rally. How are you feeling, darling? Uh, excited, terrified, like, you know, mix and combination of all emotions you can feel here, but it's absolutely amazing. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I feel really good. Um, the Vermont Sports Car guys uh, let me borrow David Higgins' 2014 championship car, so um, it's really cool to come back here in a car that's uh, a, quite a bit better than the SP car that I ran here two years ago. And that was my first rally, and we finished second. And um, it's actually going to be a little bit more consistent this time, so I'm I'm really excited to try and like push this car a little bit. Ah, c'est excitant. J'ai hâte de voir si mon choix de pneu est bon. Je regarde avant moi là. Il y en a qui ont des gravelles. Euh, D'après moi, j'ai fait le bon choix, là, mais on verra dans qu ce qui va se passer là, euh, après le premier service. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, the wrecking went quite well yesterday. Only one stage that has snow on it, so we, we chose to go with gravel tires today. I'm thinking that's going to be the fast way to go today, so we'll see how it goes. Looking forward to it. I think the roads here are just amazing. I, I really enjoy driving here. Uh, Talpine, Talpine, the love, uh, the love of Talpine for sure. It's one of my favorite. Uh, in the past, we've, we've shown some pretty good speed and fun over here. Always had a good fun. I love the roads. So, uh, for sure, the, the fun will go on. So, uh, very can't wait. <laughs> you know, this rally is awesome. The stages are hard, and there's some big jumps, especially on the new course. So, it'll be awesome. Most yeah. challenging rally in North America yeah. with very challenging conditions. There you go. With the top three contenders absent, Carol Carre will win the 2019 Canadian Rally Championship. But the door is open for David Bayerbe to make a move up to the podium if he can bring home a strong result here. He'll have to square off against 23 other teams and face 184 kilometers of challenging stage roads. A mix of gravel and ice will make tire choice difficult. The Canadian Rally Championship is presented by Subaru Canada, confidence in motion. Leading the teams into the forest, Crazy Leo and Tatiana Nikoleva are about to attack their first stage together. Flip right seven plus plus into We're right, in it. right over half long crest, early teeth a left five plus, neg icy nips, act right four plus plus over crest. Leo's road knowledge here helps him fill in the gaps from his co-driver's lack of experience, and the Can Jam Motorsports team is off to a flying start. They have 13 stages to get in sync before facing a brand new stage at the end of the rally. Connor Martell and co-driver Robbie Durant are next on the road. This is Martell's third rally, the first being the 2017 edition of Tall Pines where he scored a second place finish. As a rising star in the world of rallycross, he's got the deck stacked in his favor this weekend with a championship winning car, co-driver and team backing him up. It is immediately paying off. Martel takes almost 20 seconds out of Crazy Leo on the opening stage. Mikael and Manuel Arsenault have regularly shown the pace required to challenge for the podium, but they haven't managed to combine that speed with the consistency and luck required to spray champagne on the national podium. 
Today may be their chance to change that. Having learned a few harsh lessons in the past, they're staying smooth and consistent and are battling test racing's David Bayroubet and Marie-Lou Leblanc for third. Coming off a second place finish at Rally Charlevoix, Bayroubet is looking to end his season with a strong result here. But this is his first time facing these stages. Just behind them is the second test racing team of Marc-André Brisebois and Marie-France Desmarais Trepanier. They're riding just outside the battle for third, ready to capitalize should attrition begin to thin the field out. Philip Benoit and Eric Dubé may not have competed together before, but you'd never know it. They're on a charge from the first stage, putting the two-wheel drive mini ahead of many open-class all-wheel drive teams. Benoit is hoping to lock up the two-wheel drive championship this weekend, but he'll need a class win to do so. Patrick and Dan Sear are making Benoit work hard for it, running gravel tires and using his drifting experience to make up for the lack of grip in the slippery sections, Patrick is battling for the class lead. By the end of stage four, the difference is barely three seconds and they are leaving the rest of the class in their dust. And right four plus short overkick. Rounding out the top three in the two-wheel drive class is the Honda CRX of Sean Burke and Nathan Werner. By the end of the loop, despite a few technical glitches, Connor Martel and Robbie Durant have already opened up a big lead on Crazy Leo and Nikoleva. The battles are starting to emerge, but we're only four stages into an 18-hour day of rallying, and anything can still happen. Martel leads Crazy Leo by almost 40 seconds, with Bayroubet and Arsenault battling for the remaining podium spot. Benoit and Sear split the two-wheel drive class lead by three seconds. The teams return to service before facing more challenging stages after the break. Subaru has been in Canada for a long time, building a reputation as champions in the toughest of conditions. 13-time Canadian Rally Manufacturers Champion and counting. Claim your own piece of history for $29,995. Subaru. Confidence in motion. Welcome back to the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. With four stages complete, the teams have had a taste of just how difficult this rally is to master and are preparing for the next loop. Yeah, um, we were feel, feeling really, really great at the beginning, um, and then this last stage before service, we um, had a little bit of a fuel pump issue at the very beginning of the stage, but then it worked itself out, so we started pushing again, and about three quarters of the way, there was a big jump into like a right five, and as we landed, the front right control arm broke, and it was really hard to get the car to the end of the stage because we couldn't turn, we couldn't turn right at all. Other than that, it's been great. The rally's really fun. The roads are fun. The car's awesome. Um, it was just a mi misfortune that it broke on the jump. We happen to be flying somehow, like crazy amount of time uh, already leading our class. But I can't believe that yeah, another co-driver is so good on the notes. I can't believe it. Like I was gonna literally be going like if if she's off, uh, I can go blind. But she's good so far. A few times ahead, few times behind. But wow. We're just, we're just having fun, honestly. Like, it's a blast. It first of all, it was great. Uh, the, the, the ice is, is disappeared, so we can, we can go faster. And uh, now, it's okay for, for now. <laughs> yes, uh, we broke the manifold, so we don't have boost, and uh, the engine doesn't go uh, right, so we try to do the best we can. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the first loop this morning was really good. Uh, a little bit of icy conditions and uh, some some weird spots and corners that kind of caught me off guard a little bit. But our second pass through, it was a lot uh, less icy. Uh, the sun kind of came out and moistened everything up, so gave it a little bit more grip and uh, felt it much better. So I was happy the second pass through, that's for sure. First loop, first loop, uh, very interesting to see uh, and relieving to see that the work is going good with Eric, the first time co-piloting, uh, he's co-piloting with me for the first time. It clicks, everything goes well there. We had some scary moments on uh, the, the beginning of Delta stage, which was in the wood with all the all snow and pretty much ice, actually. On gravel, it wasn't working at all. We, uh, we spun two times, uh, so we had to make up for the lost time there. And once we got out of the wood, we. We just sanded it and it, it was good. Uh, that all the rest of the, 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 the loop, excellent. We were 
having a good rhythm and we were fun by the meantime in the meantime so happy as uh, as it could be and uh, looking forward for the next <laughs> service complete the teams head back out to the stages Connor Martel and Robbie Durant are now in full control of this rally as talented as Martel is he can't allow himself to get overconfident Tall Pines usually favors the wise over the brave a tough lesson to learn while flying over jumps and crests He's managing it well, keeping the pace up to build a margin without taking crazy risks. He's definitely proving that he has what it takes for long-term success in any motorsport discipline. Back in his early days of rallying, when Leo earned his crazy nickname, he would have pushed to the limit and beyond to try to catch Martel. It made for spectacular action, but it was also a short-lived strategy that would usually end with a bent or broken car. Latish left, 5 minus, icy down, small hook, zip into, did right for icy widish 50. Crazy Leo has since learned to balance his speed with consistency, and it's paid off with event wins. Today is no different. He's sitting steady in second, taking no risks, but building a big lead over the battle for third. That battle now sees Mikhail and Manuel Arsenault on the move to make up the 18 seconds to Berube. They're at maximum attack, determined to take over third place before the light fades and the night stages make things more difficult. But just like that, their strategy is derailed. The impact has punctured the tire and broken the suspension, making the car nearly impossible to steer. Arsenault attempts to get the car to the finish, but is eventually forced to pull over and call it quits. It's the end of an exciting battle. Arsenault's retirement takes some of the pressure off of David Berube and Marilou Leblanc. The test racing team can now shift to a more conservative strategy, focusing on completing the event rather than battling for position. They are experienced enough to know that chasing Crazy Leo or Martel could result in similar damage to their car, or worse, especially since this is their first time at Tall Pines. Marc-Andre Brisebois keeps a hold on fifth place, driving clean through the loop. The battle for the two-wheel drive class lead has reached the boiling point. Philip Benoit and Eric Dubé pull out all the stops and take another five seconds on the Toyota on stage five. Trying to claw back time, the Sears push past the tipping point, resulting in a crash at the end of their rally. This takes the pressure off Benoit, who now holds a significant lead in the class and is up to fourth place overall. Martel opens up his lead to almost a minute 20 over Crazy Leo. Beirube is minutes behind but firmly in third. With Sear out, Benoit has a five minute lead in the two wheel drive class. Daylight descends into darkness and the night stages change everything. When we come back. We're back at the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. With the daylight fading, a shift in mindset is required for the second half of this challenging one day rally and the teams are gearing up for it. It was a great time. Um, the last two are super, super fast and do something tight. We actually like smacked the side of this little bank and tore up the, the rim, so we had to change it. But other than that, it's been pretty good. You know, it's really fun. There's a lot of jumps. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of crests into turns. So, you know, it's really, it's always fun sliding over a crest into a turn. So I think we have a pretty good lead now. So, you know, we're gonna go in and uh, just go at a steady pace. These stages are hard during the daylight. They're gonna be harder at night. You know, I just wanna finish the rally. That's my goal. So we're just gonna go in, slow the pace down a little bit and try and stay out front. 
Well, uh, we called this a rally date. Darling, how do you like your date? Well, <laughs> definitely nobody can beat this date. It is amazing. Like, that's crazy. He's crazy, his car is crazy, stages are crazy. Like, yeah, it's amazing. We did have a problem with uh, like a one puncture on the previous loop, so I think on the rocky stuff we'll just slow the hell down. Like I think it's just the strategy to not get more punctures because it would be dug up now. And everywhere else, we just kind of go for it. We know we, we check the notes. Well, I have a new challenge now. I have to read in the night. In the dark. She's never been in a car in the dark. So challenge, and then and, another, and then another. And we have a light problem too. That's okay. It's just yeah. a date. <laughs> The last uh, few stages was okay, but uh, I, I used the O34 for uh, for Egan stage because they have a lot of snow on, and ice. So uh, I, I'm I'm gonna continue with that because uh, I'm the only one <laughs> that don't have a puncture on the stage. So yes, yeah, so we 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 keep the same uh, beat and same pace. His two-wheel drive battle ended with a bang, but there are no hard feelings from Patrick Sear. I felt confident with the grip, it felt good. We were really flying and about halfway through the stage, uh, I just went wide on the corner and uh, it, it kind of threw me off and uh, yeah, there was no saving. It went into a ditch and it just sort of lightly rolled on and scraped through, so. Uh, it kind of is what it is. It's, uh, it was a lapse of judgment on my end and uh, just gotta learn from it and keep moving forward. The stages are, they're tough. They're, they're icy and sometimes it's a challenge in two wheel drive just to stay on the road. Uh, we're hoping to make up some time on the icy stages on the next two stages. Uh, the final two stages are all gravel, no snow, and we're going to switch to gravel tires and hit it hard. We started the loop with winter tire because it was Egan. Then uh, to save them for uh, future Egan and other stage, we switched back two front tires to gravel that we were having in the back. So a little strategy there seems to have paid off. Times are good, everything is, uh, is fine. So. Very happy about the position, fun all the way, all the time. Uh, see if, if it can uh, stay that way till the end, we'll be very, uh, very happy. Service complete and rally lights mounted, the teams head into the night. With the right strategy in place, Connor Martell is on pace to take home his first rally win. But in this sport, that's when Lady Luck often deals her cruelest hand. Martel's car grinds to a halt with a mechanical problem. Despite efforts to coax the car to the finish line, his rally is over. Martel's retirement vaults crazy Leo Erlicic and Tatiana Nikoleva into the lead. Leo has been in this position before, but his rookie co-driver can't help but get excited by their progress. If they can stay in sync and stick to their strategy, they could take home Leo's second Tall Pines victory. David Berube and Marie-Lou LeBlanc also move up with Martel's retirement, now into second place. The driver and co-driver pair would love nothing more than to take home back-to-back -back podiums, and they're on track to make it happen. They're unfazed as they pass Martel, stopped on the side of the road. Marc-André Brisebois and Marie-France Desmarais Trepagné managed to get ahead of Philippe Benoit to take over third place. But the success of the second test racing car is short-lived. The crash results in no injuries, but moves Philippe Benoit and Eric Dubé back into an impressive third overall. The mini team hasn't let up and their lead in the two-wheel drive class is growing, now up to eight minutes over the CRX of Burke and Werner. Despite the gap, Burke is now up to fourth overall, sliding just ahead of Joel Cates and Tiffany McDonald. Only two seconds back, Cates keeps the Honda in his crosshairs. Crazy Leo holds a huge lead over David Berube. Philip Benoit holds on to third and the two-wheel drive class lead. Burke and Cates round out the top five. The rally wraps up with two passes through a brand new stage when we come back. Subaru has been in Canada for a long time, building a reputation 
as champions in the toughest of conditions. 13-time Canadian Rally Manufacturers Champion and counting. Claim your own piece of history for $29,995. Subaru. Confidence in motion. Welcome back to the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. The fans are ready as the drivers line up for the last loop, two passes of a brand new stage. With attrition having decimated half the field, the challenge is just to make it to the finish line. The Canadian Rally Championship is presented by Subaru Canada. Confidence in motion. With a solid lead, Crazy Leo Orlicic and Tatiana Nikoleva lead the teams into the dark unknown stage. No matter how well your reconnaissance run goes, and no matter how well written your notes are, the true character of a stage only reveals itself at speed. Leo is determined to make no mistakes and take home the win. Joel Cates and Tiffany McDonald have found success at Tall Pines using a proven strategy. Drive a quick but conservative pace and wait for the inevitable attrition to whittle down the field. Sticking to the plan nets them fifth place and valuable production class championship points. Combining endurance with the nimble handling of their Honda CRX, Sean Burke and Nathan Werner take home a well-earned second place in the two-wheel drive class and fourth place overall. The incredible pace shown by Philip Benoit and Eric Dubé not only earns them the two-wheel drive win, but a stunning third place overall in the 2019 two-wheel drive championship title for Benoit. David Berube and Marie-Lou LeBlanc persevere to finish their first attempt at Tall Pines, earning second place for the test racing team. With two podiums and two events, this duo has not only vanquished their bad luck of the past, but will soon be contenders for event wins. But in the end, nobody could come close to catching Crazy Lior Lichich and Tatiana Nikoleva, who bring home the storybook ending to their first rally together. Early cheat, right seven, minus, minus. Attack, 50. Mid of a very big jump. Crazy Leo Orlicic and Tatiana Nikoleva take home the win. Second place goes to David Berube and Mary Lou LeBlanc, while Philip Benoit and Eric Dubé take home third place and the two-wheel drive class win. With his second place finish, David Berube moves up to second place in the championship points battle, and Philip Benoit locks up the two-wheel drive championship. We'd say at this point right now, it's uh, we're kind of speechless, like the Benoit, like Philip would say, uh, finishing this event today in those conditions, especially uh, me and him working together for the first time, and it ends up uh, very well. Uh, it's make us proud, you know, like uh, for the class of vehicle racing against all those big machines, uh, finishing on the big podium today, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty magical for us. I think we didn't expect that. We didn't expect to have a, that good of a result. It's quite a surprise for us, but we have a, a great team. We're, uh, we have great support from Test Racing. We're really happy with that. And uh, I think we worked really hard today um, on our notes, on our pace. Uh, we, didn't, we never gave up, so uh, that paid off in the end. Well, Best driver, best team, best car. What else girl can wish? Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's surreal. I mean, after doing this for so many years, to, usually it comes at a lot bigger, harder price and everything. So big, huge thanks to Kenja Motorsport. This beautiful thing is unbreakable, knock on wood. Uh, also big thanks to Antoine for mentoring, coaching and advice, even throughout this rally and over the years. Thanks. With one event remaining and both drivers' titles locked up, the Big White Winter Rally will be a no-holds-barred showdown for winter glory. We'll see you there. <laughs>